When you are a damn gorgeous reader and you need the perfect gorgeous deck to go with your energy, you would need the palette card. So beautiful, so gorgeous, your reading will show your past, present, and your foreseeable future with amazing colors. Get the palette deck by Sap. Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me just say something. <laughs> so, we finished the Venus webinar back in the days, okay, back in the 1970s. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, we finished the everything about Venus. So, here comes, okay. Um, we're gonna be doing February 1st, is every, uh, this is, everything about Venus is done, so we talk about the planets. Now, we're gonna be talking about how Venus affects us in relationship partnership, marriage, those things, and also, of course, the luxury in life, the pleasures in life, which is a, a very Venusian, how it's affecting you, okay, in your chart, and what are the things, okay, that can help you also work those issues, and that's February 1st, okay, so we'll, I, I, we will be looking at, you know, it's like, especially if you are a person who wants to have a business partner, is it going to be good for you, because this is the seventh house contract, marriages, and relationship that's what venus is all about and of course love but we've discussed you know some of those already in the first part of uh, the webinar february 1st is the second part which is going to be very good because if you have not attended the first one if you if uh, from the time that you've watched you're watching this um 24 hours from that time um you will get the first part for free you get it you get the video file in your email and then you can watch it, and then come February 1st, we'll be talking about this all magical, okay, Venus. How it is affecting you, okay, with regards to relationship. Is it good? Is it bad? What are the signs that it's not performing as its best? Healing also the planet, okay? So that's that one. So I suggest you go down there. All the webinars is there. That's February 1st, okay? So I was excited. Sorry, all okay? right? Sorry, sorry. I just wanted to share that. It's not my fault. Uh -huh. Here we go, though. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. My Scorpios. Let's see. Let's see what's up with you guys. Let's see. Woo! Empress Venus. If you're not attending, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's speaking to you, Scorpio. This abundance. Oh. So here's what it is with Venus. Venus is the planet of billionaires. You do know that, right? There are different nakshatras also for Venus, okay? One is where uh, Saturn is already transiting for the last time. I mean, like the high, the, the perfection of Venus is basically, um, you know, last nakshatra for it is actually Purva Ashada, okay? So this is actually in Sagittarius and it involves, okay, everything Venusian, okay? Very, very exclusive. More than likely, people who has this kind of placement, they love exclusive membership, you know, they resonate, um, how to say this, like people love them, like they're just glowing, all natural Venusian, okay? I'm gonna share all those secrets, okay? You have here the Empress card. So, planet of abundance, that's why Empress is equivalent to the Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter is millionaires. Venus is billionaires. Not everybody gets to that part, of course. They're more millionaires than billionaires. But with regards to manifestation of wealth, that's where Empress is. Okay? So you can see also what's obstructing you and stuff like that. We'll be looking at that in the webinar. But here, I'm seeing here that you are going to be blessed. Okay? You're going to be blessed. Um, I feel like more on just emotional contentment and feeling good. Health-wise, I feel like it's going to be awesome. Um, it can be a Taurus or a Libra also that you're connecting. I feel like partnership is coming pretty soon. Um, especially the Empress mode, of course, it's about the yin side, the receiving end. So you don't have to do much. First card is strongest, uh -huh. so don't do much. Uh -huh. Less effort. You can also be getting pregnant, congratulations. Yes? Mm -hmm. Now that's fifth house. We haven't gone to that house, but just letting you know. Okay. Fifth house is also amazing. That's the Leo house. Now... There's victory. Ace of Swords, are you establishing a business? Okay. Are you the person signing some documents? Because the Swords for me is always about documents. That's the Ace of Swords. Someone wants to talk to you at the same time. Um, you know, this is about declaring their true and honest feelings with the Ace of Swords and the Empress. This is about finally speaking the truth. Okay, so that's good. Someone here has a bright idea, which is the Ace of Swords. 
I feel like you have to execute it, okay? With this kind of, uh, just this two spread. Yes, wonderful, love it. We could be also meeting a new air sign. Yes, right here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and it requires changes though. You got a tower, okay? I'm not scared about this tower here. I mean, there's nothing to be scared about a tower, it's a transition. So any kind of obstacle, like what I told you with regards to relationship, I feel that the truth is about to come out. So nothing can stop you from getting either to a new relationship or just to get your abundance. You can also be trying to get a new home, renovating a new home. You know, it's like, I feel like you're going to do some sort of fixer opera also with the tower, but big changes, okay, is coming. Sudden changes is a tower, which is also you. This is very Mars. It can be a Scorpio and it can be an Aries at the same time. Now, you could be connecting with an engineer also, or an architect, or a, a person who does fix house, okay? A contractor, you know, this is what it is. Now, it's not about the house of the tower. It's because it's Mars. Mars rules that, okay? Those uh, engineer, the one who builds. Now, you will also see here, because as you see the towers, it's always crumbling, okay? In order for you to get to your desire, there are things that always is a blockage, okay? And you're Mars ruled. So Mars having so much desire, okay, will not stop. Mars don't know when to stop. It doesn't stop. It just keeps going. Mm -hmm. So no, nothing can stop you here. Mm -hmm. It's taking move out of my way. I'm gonna get whatever I want. Mm -hmm. And what is good is, okay, you're also grounded. Okay, I'm not beefing you out because I know when you're not in your highest Scorpio mode because you can be deceptive, you can be manipulative, all those other opposite. We all have... Um, you know, duality. But I'm seeing here right now, you're spiritually aligned even after the breakup, okay? So you have transcended to a much more better kind of Scorpio because all Zodiac has its, you know, manifestation on the other side, the shadow self. You, however, have tamed the beast, okay? This is more of inner work. An inner work of a Scorpio would be humanitarian. The other side of that would be destroying humanity. You see me? It's death and destruction instead of birth. And helping other people. Mm -hmm. Strength card, which I told you, Leo. Wow, you're going through some major stuff here. Strength card with a hermit. Um, if you're dealing with a Leo, I feel like you know this person. Um, they find you very, very endearing, and they've never met someone who can tame them, who can um go with the flow with them, who can understand them, even though they know that they are savage. Right? Because uh, the strength card over here, number eight, it's an infinity symbol. It's ruled by Saturn. Um, you know, number eight. Um, Saturn rules number eight, Rahu at the same time, okay? Um, it is a difficult um, energy between you and uh, between you and the strength card. But you have um, out, not outgrown, you've seen, okay, enlightenment even out of the connection. No matter how difficult it is, you didn't go to your, let me get you and I'll destroy you, okay? You went within. You destroyed the inner ego. That's what's supposed to be destroyed. Not the person, not the love, but our ego. Birth, you know, death to ego, birth to love. And look at this. Uh -huh. See, that's a very humanitarian. You could be talking to people, helping people, expressing love, and people adore you. Okay? That's that one. Six of Wands. You're elevating your vibration. You are you are showing okay, that you can be loving and caring, Scorpio. Okay? And look at this. Abundance is coming. Coins is coming. So you are attracting wealth. You can be attracting someone who's wealthy. King of Pentacles. You could be attracting someone who... Um, has good financial standing. That's that one. Someone who's serious. Okay, Capricorn energy. A good Capricorn is amazing also. A good Leo will be amazing. You would want to be in a good side of a good Leo. Mm -hmm. Any zodiac on their highest level. Oh, amazing. In their opposite, disaster. Okay, <laughs> See, on their opposite, the devil side. Which I told you, you've tamed this already. Mm -hmm. The Empress with the devil. Someone can be obsessing about you. Aesthetically. You smell good, you look good, you feel good, you know, they love this to you. There is a Capricorn, I see a King of Pentacles here with the devil, but you can also be a workaholic right now, Scorpio, and you're proving yourself that I can be good at this, okay? And it's showing though, but anything extra is the devil, you know that, mm -hmm. Here we go, the chariot, amazing, this energy is so flowy. Okay, you got Ace of Swords with a chariot. Someone wants to talk to you, they want to travel, see you, long distance relationship, a Cancerian. A good side of a Cancerian, you will never leave them because they just make amazing brisket. Not kidding. Food, caring, nurturing. A good Cancerian. An opposite of a Cancerian will be needy and also deceptive at the same time. They will be crabby and manipulate you emotionally. 
Not this kind. This present is good. I feel it. Mm -hmm. Ace of Swords with a Chariot. I'm just giving you guys a duality of all Zodiac. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. King of Cups, which shows, okay, whoever this water sign is, it can be another Scorpio, okay, or but this is more of a concern energy. They really, really love you for just being who you are, okay? Remember, love is really about loving and not really about owning. We can love everybody. We don't have to be partners with them. You understand me? You have your justice card, but you want to be partners with this one. Okay, that's a Libra. High vibration of Libra, very just. That's why Saturn is exalted in Libra, meaning we got to do what we're supposed to do and it's for everybody. Okay, that's the full potential that it is. I mean, Saturn is a, you know, um, a kar karaka, no, karaka of death, but um, so, so exaltation, sorry, exaltation. So someone here okay, is claiming that even after the breakup, you did what is right. Okay, the tower and the justice. You're doing amazing. Okay. Too much. Right, let's get going, Scorpions. Oh, I only got one card there. Can we get one more? Okay. Knight of Cups. Someone is someone wants to talk to you. Someone wants to express their feelings. Younger water sign. Four of Cups. Yes, I know you miss this person. You guys had wonderful good memories. You know, that's legit right there. I know, you still consider to reconcile. Totally understandable. Um, with the strength of the Three of Pentacles, the Leo wants to work it. The Taurus wants to build it. You got me. Leo wants to work their relationship, the Taurus wants to build it. Because why? I feel like because you've changed. You could be malefic before. You could have been Angelina Jolie, but not right now. You're smelling like you're Jennifer Aniston. You know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no Tina Shade. We love both. Okay. <laughs> but I'm more of a Julia Roberts. Okay. And Catherine Zeta. The Tower and the Queen of Swords. So you understand and you accept that the destruction of the relationship was meant to be. It was hurtful, it was traumatic, but you have reason up, reason up, rise, rise up to the occasion that you are not going to go malefic. If you went malefic, I would have seen it. The devil is there. But the strength card is here. The hierophant is here. You speak the truth. You align yourself with that one. You do not basically associate with any kind of codependent relationship. That's why you get the two tower. You've separated from this person. Now you're going to ask me, so are they coming back? Am I meeting someone new? The only thing I know here is someone wants to build a relationship with you. Strong. Mm -hmm. There's a hierophant here. And I know you still miss the person. Even the crosswatcher knows that. They miss the two of you. They're, you guys have good times. In your um, hermit mode, I know you were manifesting them. I know you were thinking about them. Always. Alrighty? So I'm going to continue this reading, guys. Wonderful, strong Major Arcana. Thank you very much, Scorpio, for watching. Everything down there in the description box for the webinar, the workshop, the decks that I use, it's all down there. I'll see you on February 1st. Jupiter webinar is in the, it's coming soon. It's this week. Okay? Saturn is also in the middle of the uh, January. Bye, guys. Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your last of the year, 22 to the 31st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I bid the Scorpios a wonderful end of the year, okay? Um, it's gonna be your year. Trust me on that one, okay? Besides everybody's year, it has a tendency to be your year this coming year, okay? Just because of Jupiter being in your first house, okay? Or if you're, um, whatever Jupiter is sitting right now, that's your year on that house. You got me, okay? So, because other people will be watching here, you know, for the Scorpio, who we know there's a lot of cross watchers for the Scorpios. <laughs> uh huh, right, right, right. Okay, here we go though. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Well, they just, you know, when you had a Scorp when you have a Scorpio, you can't get enough of them. Mm hmm, that's what I'd say. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's the truth. Okay. Let me see here. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 22 to the 31st, what do you guys have? Oh, and the camera is in retrograde, just saying, okay. Ace of Swords, a communication, honest, true, okay. If you have a Libra, this came out in the Libra as a divide. Cutting down, nip in the bud over there, look at that one, okay. Addressing facts, I'm all about the tea, and it's about goji berry. <laughs> My latest right now, guys. Let me just take a sip for you guys, okay. Mm. Goji berry, okay. Um, so it's all about the truth right now. And I feel here it's like, you know, how do, what did they say? It's like gloves are coming off. So someone is ready to fight for this. Amazing. We love a good fight, you know, Scorpios, right? Mm -hmm. Not the bad one. <laughs> this is about a good fight. Okay, because this is about fighting for the truth. Okay. 
Let me see, other person. This can be your the other person, of course. Oh, the load. Okay. Got eight of wands over here. Eight of wands is good. Look at this. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, someone here <laughs> can be. Look at this. Okay. They had a good night. Okay, let's just sign. Someone is an early, early morning and the other person is not an early morning person. Okay. Someone here, it's not a one night stand, but I feel like you guys are going to be intimate with each other. And then there's going to be communication between the two of you or this has happened already. Because someone is here is like, get up, you know, we need to talk. Oh my God. <laughs> That's scary. Get up, we need to talk. Okay, because it's like, you know, it's like we need to address this. There's incense over here in the room, so someone who could be practicing spirituality, okay, probably do some incense aging, okay. So it's about clearing of energies between the two of you right now. Well, that's good. Next to the Ace of Swords, let me see. Queen of Pentacles, darling, darling, this is the other person, so that's like someone wants to offer you. Someone wants to offer you a stable connection, you know, it's like, it could have been just like this before, you know, very casual, very passionate, but now they're talking about it, it's like, can I have the Scorpio where I want them, you know? Someone wants you where you're supposed to be, this is where you're supposed to be, you know? Someone can be putting you in a pedestal, seeing the true value right now, let me see, next to the Eight of Wands, and this is a person far from you. You guys have a kink also, you know, like you guys do something that we don't need to see. Mm -hmm. Just saying over here, you know, because some, some people like, uh, if you're under 18, unsubscribe right now, subscribe later. Okay, you know, like someone likes to be tied up, fantasies over here. Tantric though, I feel it's tantric. Can be a sad. Ooh, chariot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like they don't want casual anymore. Someone wants you in a relationship, and this is like, hey, you know, because it's a hey, okay. <laughs> so good work in the farm, okay. Asian descent also, there's tamarows, uh, water buffaloes over here. Um, someone wants to have you or you to them, you know, regardless of whatever, you know, you guys have. Like, we can have the most little thing in life and, you know, like, just the two of us, you know, it's like it's gonna be good. Okay, so if it's a song, just the two of us, we can make it if we try. Just the two of us, yeah, we can try. And this is gonna be a Cancerian energy moving to the seventh. So it can be a Taurus also. Someone is, I told you, someone is traveling to see you. You guys become intimate, and I feel like things finally sell down. Okay, you have your Eight of Cups. Okay, interesting that because the Eight of Cups here is different. You you will, or they will. Someone here is talking to their friends about how things worked out, and it's almost like, hey, you know, it's just like everything is fine now in my relationship. Finally, everything is good. It's a different uh, Eight of Cups. Okay, let me see here. I would do, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, it's a two of cups. <laughs> it's a two of cups. Mm. The two of cups energy. Remember, eight to the two, if someone walks away also, they're coming back towards you. Okay. Things are addressed. Oh, that's what it's going to... That's the conversation, Scorpio. We need to talk. And then in that talk, two people will tell each other, it's like, I love you. And I love you. I want to be with you. I want to have a relationship with you. Let's give this a chance. All those are true communication. Okay. Let me see here. What's the divide? Okay. Got a page of swords. So it can be younger. Okay. Someone is shedding light on a situation. Okay. And they're holding this, the, the ace of swords. So definitely. No matter what this um, conversation for them. It's just like. I need to have this conversation and it's a very serious one. I know I, I can't say much or I don't know how I can say it, but I know if I just tell you the truth, things will work out. Someone could have walked away here, but eight to the two, when they come back, it's all about two people trying to make it work 
finally making it work with a Cancerian or a Sag. You also have a Capricorn energy over here. And it all starts with just a text, I think. Just a text. That can be the title of this one. It takes, it takes just one message here. That's the Ace of Swords. All right, Scorpios. So I'm going to continue this reading as we move forward with these energies. 22 to the 31st. Everything in down, down there is what you need, uh, if you need anything. And today I'm using an amethyst. If people are curious, it's just an amethyst, adventuring. Um, I believe it's healing. And at the same time, it attracts, um, it attracts, um, you, you know, like healing to your heart chakra. Okay. Ha uh, I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful end of 2018. I will see you guys again in 2019, Scorps. Bye.